Hello, this is Real World Audio, and uh, I'm now. I will be showcasing the audio file question of the decade. So Al asked a fantastic question about the uh, transmitting mode of uh, loudspeaker cabinets versus music instruments, and. Uh, and when we look at his question and understand what he is asking, what he is saying, then uh, and we follow up that train of thought, it's going to get us the uh, foundation of how music instruments create sound versus how modern loudspeakers create sound. So, actually asked. Al asked a two-part question and now I'm just focusing on the second part. The first part I will answer later, but now just like with bigger letters so you can see better as well. So he said that I believe the resonance of the wood in a stringed instrument transmitting vibrations of a string has a very different transmission role to the wood of a speaker cabinet, where the loudspeaker creates compression waves in the air that you need and you need to dampen resonance. And uh, I think uh, you are absolutely right on every single point you mentioned that uh, in a string instrument and not just string instrument but any kind of acoustic instrument they, they transmit their vibrations through resonance. So every single music instrument uh, uh, creates a resonance in its body and those resonances are transmitted to the room, to your ears in wave mode. So they are not compressed. So basically what they do is that the body and then the strings and all the parts of the music instruments, they uh, resonate the air uh, if it has a body, then it starts to resonate the air in the body of the instrument. And then that air column that's in your music instrument, that will uh, excite the, uh, the room response. That, that will create the low frequencies of the music instrument. Because the high frequencies, like the string itself, the higher uh, frequencies of the string, uh, the high frequency sounds, uh, they, they can couple to the air very efficiently, but for low frequencies we need the body of the instrument. And that's why those instruments that have uh, larger bodies are capable to create deeper sounds. And that's why a violin doesn't go down to 20 hertz. And, and that's why a double bass doesn't go as high as a violin does because it's their body size that uh, that creates resonances inside the instrument and the air column that resonates creates uh, the bass response and it's an extremely efficient process now when we have our modern loudspeakers they they have uh, small bodies and those small bodies are incapable to create a bass response and that's why, that's the reason why the modern loudspeaker creates compression waves. And those compression waves have to uh, convert, have to go through a major conversion process to create uh, the bass response, to create the sound that you hear, because uh, it is uh, something of a high pressure uh, low wavelength basically and it has to get converted into a low pressure uh, long wavelength scenario that uh, that's occurring in your room for you to perceive uh, low frequencies and in those cases that's why we need to dampen the resonance of the cabinet because the the loudspeaker contains very high pressure inside. However, this is just the brief uh, introduction to this subject, uh, and um, I'm going to look deeper into this issue because uh, as uh, thought 
train of thought is correct for all the modern loudspeakers we have, which are the lower efficiency loudspeakers. However, the high efficiency loudspeakers behave uh, in a way that the acoustic instruments behave. So they create sound in wave mode, just like acoustic instruments and not in compression mode. And what are the implications of this? I think it is absolutely monumental and, and not because it's, a, it's, it's some sort of technicality, but because we are audiophiles, right? And what we want to uh, pursue is to get authenticity, right? Because it's unquestionable that with uh, modern uh, high compression loudspeakers, we get uh, very impressive results. We get uh, impressive pinpoint sound stage. We get uh, impressive extremely low frequency reproduction. We can get very high SPS. But as an audiophile, as a music lover, I must look into the situation. Are we getting authentic uh, representation of how a violin sounds this way? No, we are not. And we can never get. Because the way we are reproducing the sound is fundamentally different from the way the music instrument is creating the sound. So let's just make a, uh, maybe a real-life comparison to that. So if you want to create air, you cannot reproduce the effects with water, right? You need to use air to recreate the effects of air. And that's why I'm using this comparison, because compression mode means something much, much denser than, uh, than wave mode. And it means that the result will be fundamentally different what we hear compared to what a, a natural acoustic instrument sounds like. So thank you, Al, for asking this astounding question. Uh, and um, we will continue. Uh, so I hope everyone is curiously awaiting the response. Uh, have a wonderful day. Please like, subscribe. Bye-bye.